Hello, Gary Bonnell here. Uh, thank you for watching uh, the videos. It's, it's been wonderful to, to get your comments and to then interact with, with many of you. Um, today's video is a little different. We're going to, uh, this will focus basically on um, the, the time timeline that we're in and that we are collectively going through. Uh, meaning all the human population on Earth uh, is going through a very specific timeline. Now, up until 1920, humanity basically produced uh, a population of around 2 billion uh, live spirits on the planet. Um, and then from 20 to now, we've added another 6 billion, basically. And what I mean by, by um, a reset that's coming, and I've spoken of a reset, um, let's use the analogy that you're going to a concert, you got your tickets, you're there two or three hours ahead of time, and you notice that there are very few people around, two billion. Uh, then closer to showtime, more and more people start arriving, six billion. So what we've got going on is our spirits and our collaborative souls want to witness this particular shift out of duality, a cycle of duality, into a cycle of unity. Now, that shift, the midpoint in the shift happened in the 10, ten years between 20, uh, 2001 and, and 2011. And in that 10-year period, uh, there were um, a, a few things that happened in our collective mind, but also in our DNA. And in our DNA, uh, the bioengineers, the off-world beings that, that bioengineered us to increase our capacity, our intellectual capacity, those beings have placed little energetic knots in our DNA and, and we reach a certain harmonic as an individual or group, those dots release. Now, um, in that 10-year window, that midpoint in the transition, um, a DNA knot was released that is taking humanity to a non-gendered state. And that non-gendered state um, is first going to affect consciousness and then bodies. Uh, some people have already been born non-gendered, and that's pretty confusing for uh, the parents of that child and the medical establishment. Um, so um, the hardest thing is that, that the medical establishment wants to, through operations, give a gender identity to those bodies. So that's, that's a problem in and of itself. But notice all this conversation about pronouns and, and transgender and, and uh, all of that that's been taking place. Well, there is another knot that's releasing. It's going to start releasing next year. And it's in preparation for off-world beings that are going to announce themselves in 2027. And what that next transmutation not is, we are going to be going to thought-based beings. Now, off-world beings are non-gendered and thought-based. And because they have an adjacent reality, meaning that their primary reality is adjacent to ours, and it doesn't have the concept of time, we are linear and we go from moment to moment, uh, always focused on the past and hoping for the future. Well, off-world beings don't do that. Um, they are eternal beings in that they are outside of the influence of time. Uh, some of the kings back in Sumer and, and the civilizations that that seem to be related to the Anunnaki, some of those civilizations, some of those rulers ruled for 40,000 years. 
So that's an off-world being that has its primary residency in an adjacent reality. So um, we are becoming genderless and thought-based because humanity is going to leave Earth. Uh, we, our planet is very volatile. Uh, and we're going to be seeing an increase in that volatility uh, through climate change, earth changes, um, all of that stuff that's, that happens every 13,000 years. Um, you know, how do we know this? Well, we have ruins uh, of past civilizations that they estimate are 26,000 years old. And... 44,000 years old, and we have out-of-place artifacts that are hundreds of millions of years old. So, um, Earth, this happens to Earth. And some of the civilizations that existed before us, we noticed that there are no human remains for those. So, when we when we go through this genderless transformation, and it's going to happen very quickly, it's actually already started. And when we go to this thought-based uh, transmutation, we will notice that ascension, meaning the, the taking of the physical body, the structure of the physical body, the energy of the physical body, and the energy of the spirit, the evolving spirit, will be combined as one, and when the soul then gifts that combination with ascension, the body-spirit becomes one being of pure energy. And this allows us um, to, um, some of us to become eventually earthborn souls, and some of us then to transmigrate with uh, a soul group to another system. Now, why would we do that? Uh, other systems don't have uh, uh, conscious forms of life. Well, self-aware forms of life. So we would go to other systems to help establish that. And we can do that because our human spirit has evolved up through every form of life on Earth, plant and animal. So we carry all that knowledge within us. Our, our physical bodies, that energy that is our physical body, has about 120 generations of ancestral memory. That includes, um, you know, all of the memory from, from all of the experiences of those ancestors. So we can go to another system with a soul group and help establish new life in another system. Now, um, What's about to take place on Earth is really big. And the people who are focused on, on just surviving as a human, those people are going to want to, to eliminate anything that is outside of, of the idea of survival. Um, and this will be through trying to eliminate it or destroy it. In 2027, off-world beings are going to say, here we are, we've been here for millions of years, we have uh, been escorting you through time, um, uh, helping to influence technological advancements, but not interfering with the overall process of you be your humanity. So we've been here, and we want you to understand what you are. And when people really get what they are, um, it's, it's, we are amazing beings, incredibly powerful just by ourselves, but collectively uh, we are amazing in what we can achieve. And if you look at the last 13 years where humanity is come through that last transition, um, look at what's been achieved in that short period of time. Now, 
All of this is going to start creating uh, enormous havoc because religions have distorted the truth of our being for so long. Um, religions are going to attempt to hang on to their power. Um, unfortunately, uh, that's going to include eliminating some of those people who are groups of people who don't agree. Now, religion has a history of doing this. The Catholic Church has destroyed civilizations, cultures like the Cathars and uh, the Inquisition uh, trying to destroy the concepts that are contained within Judaism. Um, there is a history of this, and you're going to see what we call the right wing as, as really surging in its influence. And the whole story there is um, religions and races don't want to be replaced by other religions and races. Well, these off-world beings are going to say, you guys, you now need to wake up. You need to understand what you are and where this is going. And those people who have such a profound cognitive bias where they self-identify with their religions or their politics or their culture, um, you know, it's, uh, it's going to uh, be a pretty hard time uh, for them. Uh, oftentimes in my groups in Japan and in the United States, I've said, if you get this, if you really get this, you're no longer Japanese. You're no longer American. You, you are, in fact, a, a being of enormous ability and enormous power. And collectively, you can create whatever you want. You are manifest matter, manifest energy with, from the mind of Gaia. So, so you are of the mind of Gaia. The, creator of this dimension. And your eternal soul is a particle from the mind of creator. And as such, you have access to universal mind. Um, look at beings like, uh, like um, uh, gosh, Da Vinci, uh, Newton, uh, Tesla, um, uh, Einstein. All of these people totally got what we are as beings. Um, Mother Shipton in England, Baba Vanka in Eastern Europe, could look into the Akasha and talk about future events along a given timeline. So, so what we are as beings is really amazing. And when we wonder if our shoes go with our outfit, it really diminishes what we are. So we're going through, um, going to go through a pretty intense period. You need to be prepared. Um, you need to understand what's about to unfold. And, and if you don't want to, that's okay as well. Uh, reincarnation is a great uh, process. And when a spirit goes, goes out of this dimension into the adjacence, it stays there uh, forever how long it takes the earth to reset itself. And for those spirits, uh, time has become nothing. So a 10,000 year period on earth would, would not be acknowledged as 10,000 years to a spirit. It would be a blink of an eye. Just like when you go to sleep at night, suddenly you wake up eight hours later or how many hours later. So. The point of this video is we as individuals have to get what it is we are as human beings. Those people who understand this, this transition is going to be of great value to them. They are going to go into a state of not identifying as a gender, but identifying as a being. They're also going to begin to become thought-based, where their thoughts once voiced manifest. So uh, it's important. And 
I'm doing this, this work along with other people on the planet doing this work to, to really alert humanity that, that 2025 and beyond um, is a major period for humanity. It's not, it's not like the last 5,000 years, 6,000 years. This is a complete reset and um, a lifting of consciousness into a completely different level um, where unity is, is literally forced upon humanity, where they don't see the difference from themselves and others, where they share the same idea of governance. Um, some people call it the new world order. It's kind of a sinister sound to it. But anyway, uh, thanks for watching this. Um, I'm a, a little uh, concerned for um, how my message is being received in that it goes against uh, most everything that we've established to be a truth. Um, and, you know, cognitive bias is one of those wonderful things that allows us to be our individual selves, but it also allows us to hide from the truth of what we are. So thanks for watching. I look forward to the next video. And bye for now.